Hello guys, welcome to my uh, new video that I decided to upload today. Uh, well, not upload today, but it will be uploaded in a future video. Uh, I picked this awesome weapon up recently, a uh, light gun from um, an awesome place called Cash Converse at Chesterfield. This is a real cool weapon. This is a P99L pistol, laser blaster. It looks very similar to a Noah gun, can you guess? Metal Gear Solid. SOCOM pistol. It does look like a SOCOM pistol, doesn't it? Because it obviously got the laser, re laser re um, sighting. Um, the cool thing about this uh, light gun is it's got a recoil. So it recoils fires back like that. And if you want to see this, this is so cool. Uh, <clears throat> it, fun it functions as a GunCon original weapon from Namco and also GunCon 2 uh, for the PS2 and also the normal one. I imagine you can still play this with Die Hard, I hope. That'll be a good test to, to do in a future video. Um, you can turn off the recoil, so and you can turn on the laser. I don't really switch on the laser because it just annoys me. Um, right, so you can do auto reload. This is really useful for virtual cut, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I will say one thing though. Um, right, with this pedal, with this pedal here, right, it's good for time crisis. But what you've got to remember is. <clears throat> Always go to normal normal fire because if you're using it at uh, auto fire auto reload, it screws up the pedal um, docking action. So just be wary of that when you if you want to purchase this uh, light gun. Uh, it's really cool and there's buttons on the other side as well, which I'll show you. So they got both red buttons on each side, very similar to the G-Com. Select and start and the D-pad, which looks really nice actually. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, here we go, and I'll show you an example of Virgil Cop and Time Crisis. Let's go. Haha! <laughs> well, as the Time Crisis says, action! Alright, here we go. This is gonna be fun. Let's do file one. Everyone loves that one. <laughs> so good, isn't it? I, I love the recall of this, but you can turn it off if it really irritates you. Um, You've got to be wary. If you hold it down quite a long time, it does produce this metallic smell. So, because um, it gets stressed uh, with the recoil me mechanism. Just be wary of that, of course, if you want to know that for the future reference. Right, so you you short like this. So, I'm actually quite surprised how accurate this weapon is. And look, it auto reloads. Very cool, right? <laughs> it's wicked, isn't it? I accidentally shoot hostages too many times in these gameplay footages. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, gotcha. Yeah, um, with the machine gun functionality, it just... It just stops, so if you hold the button down, it doesn't always auto, uh, like, it's just perfect for pistol shooter games. It's like going back to the old arcade style. <laughs> arcade days. <laughs> kind of thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I always accidentally shoot hostages, so don't blame me. <laughs> Well, it will be interesting with this next test to see how well the G-Con Ritual does. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, get out of there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. But the good thing is you can turn off the recoil, see if you don't want to disrupt your neighbors at night. <laughs> oh yeah, come on. Ooh. Oh, that was good. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. Woo, yeah. And that is a virtual cop on the PS2 with this light gun.
All right, guys, I did do a test with this one. Um, you can only use the buttons, but I did try with this pedal. Um, it doesn't work. It just keeps going. What it does is, uh, when you uh, when you duck, it keeps auto jumping back. So I know the next uh, next game will definitely work with this pedal very well. It's just finicky. It, it can get it can get. Um, I think it's sometimes incompatible with certain games. Maybe it's a real shame with this one. But I'll play it anyway for you guys, and you can see what it does. In fact, I am actually now curious to see what it's like running on Die Hard. Um, obviously for the Die Harder, that'd be interesting. Ah, <laughs> uh, you don't need to see this, do you? But I could use the pedal just to dock out. <laughs> I suppose it has its uses. Yeah, you see, when I tap on it, it just goes up and down. It's ridiculous. So now I have to use the button. So yeah, as you now know, it's got a bit of a fault in time passes. Oh. Yeah, it's quite fun, isn't it? <laughs> it never gets old. gonna do this to show you. Well, I tell you what, it is very convenient because not only because it's USB powered, Action. you know, you don't have to worry about the battery life in this, it's amazing. In fact, it's infinite battery, which is really cool. Alright. Okay, this is Time Crisis running with the P990 pistol. Let's see how good, good it does on Die Hard. Die Harder, of course. Right, we're playing uh, Die Hard 2 on the. Or well, Star obviously Die Harder. Uh, this is actually pretty good for this. Um, the only thing I noticed with this weapon, it tends to go off right a little bit of the reticle. So be wary. Um, but it's not all. They don't have a calibration for this kind of thing on normal. Which is so odd. Um, this this is why I like the G Con series because they always had a calibration screen uh, for to line your shots for the red for the uh, laser. But this is odd. But I'll show you anyway. Um, it's really interesting. Okay, let's play. So, oh, I found the use for the pedal now. So now you just you just reload with the pedal. There you go. Yeah, as you can see, it goes off a little bit too much to the right. And yeah, it's very hard to shoot shoot accurate with this. Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah. Yeah. Still use this as a on dino, so um, that's quite a good bonus. Just gotta remember to not uh, shoot center. Give me this also my burn, there we go. Yeah, if it auto skips a uh, soundtrack guys, I do apologize because uh, my old my flat PS2 is on the legs. So I'm probably gonna get a new PS2 slim maybe soon. Hopefully that should work. There we go. I love it how they explode like that. It's so funny. <laughs> but that's good, it works. So uh look, you, you see what I shoot? It just shoots. It doesn't shoot where I want it to. That's the only downside to this game. It's hard to get these people in time as well, isn't it? to reload. 
Nej. Okay, that's the sample of Die Hard 2. There we go. Yeah, uh, not too bad, but uh, it could be improved. But uh, this is quite a good weapon. Um, in terms of functionality, uh, I think that it'll be better on the gun cons, to be honest, because it, it's, it's got the pre-built function in, and it does make sense for that. All right, I'll show you uh, Time Crisis 3. Yeah, Time Crisis 3. Here is Time Crisis 3. For the PS2, let's see how well this does in this next Five, test and final test. Ah, uh, man, I do like this weapon, but I just wish it was better. This is, but this is what you're gonna live with third party controller, third party light guns, right? I'm gonna try it with a pedal, so it hopefully should work. So it's on my knee now, so that's the problem. If you keep pushing it, it hurts my legs. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see if it works. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. Yeah, you see, as you can see, my pedal doesn't work. Let me just try something, guys. Let's try that. No, the pedal's useless. Yeah. The fishy, the pedal doesn't work. <laughs> Oh well. See, this is the kind of thing you have to work with. Well, it did work with me last night. I don't know why it doesn't want to work now. Alright, I'm just going to try see if I can hook it back up. Yeah, it just takes a little finicky getting used to. Right, uh... No, it doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah, that's so annoying, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Auto fire, auto... Let's try that. <clears throat> nah, it doesn't work. Yeah, it's visually useless. <laughs> well, there you go. You now know the pedal is unreliable. Okay, guys. If you enjoyed this video, remember to please like, comment, and subscribe. And as Richard says, Retro Forever. Signing out. Happy gaming, people. <laughs>